Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Brig. With pdq.com. We are going to show you DHCP. DHCP. So in the last two videos, we set up a domain controller and we set up DNS. And so next thing on our list, DHCP. So very first thing we'll do is add the rule. Go through a couple just defaults. DHCP server. Those are all fine. Yep. Need anything else next? Basically, pretty much all the uh, defaults on DNS, DC, and this. Yeah. You can pretty much you be pretty safe that you could just click next, next, next to finish on these. There's not a lot of configuration that you have to do on this on these pre uh, on these role selections, so mm. we're pretty good. It does take a minute to do this, but not too long. Yeah, it should be pretty quick. Yep. And then uh, once this is done, we're going to go and configure some options. And then uh, does it require a reboot? No, no it doesn't. Know. I don't think so. I don't think so either. It used to be back in Maybe the Maybe a restart of the service, but. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Uh, okay. Finished installing. Now, on that one, you could either click on the link, which was uh, complete configuration, or you can go up into the flag up in the upper uh, right hand corner here and select complete DHCP configuration. All right. So we're going to use the basic. Uh, Administrator account that we set up uh, previously when we first started setting up the DC, mm -hmm. and that's good. You can set alternate credentials here, but you don't really need to if you've already set it up this way. And then close. Okay. All right. So we have the role here we can see. So yep. let's go into DHCP here. Okay. So what do, you, what do we do first? All right. What we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and set up our scope. Nope. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> one down. You were right. You were there. Nope. Uh, IPv4. Okay. Yep. Right. Click and then new scope. All right. And what do we want to call this? Just our uh, just our basic scope. Sure. Yeah. Just let's just call it Crown Scope or what, what, Whiskey Time Scope. Yeah. So we're just going to WT Scope. It's going to be general. All right. Our start IP address. So we've got one seven two dot twenty nine dot twelve is the octet that we've chosen. So. I'm just going to do 29.12 and then uh, 100. Okay. Well, because we've got uh, no, like nine, nine reservations, reservations and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to do this 200. So that'll give us uh, 100 addresses. Cool. And then on this one, this is probably 24. Yep. Submit mask. There we go. And then next. And uh, this is just basically exclusions, at, which we don't really need to worry about right now because this set would a be narrow yeah, range. Yeah, if you had like servers, like well, for instance, if you had the DC server that was included in that, you want to exclude that from this. But uh, we don't really need to worry about that here. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then uh, setting this for your least duration, standard is fine. Uh, eight hours, uh, eight days. Or eight days, sorry. Yeah, you'll want to limit this uh, based on whether or not you have a lot of laptops uh, moving in and out of the network. But we've covered that in a different video. Um, but for Sake of ease, we'll just cover. We'll just use eight days. All right, and you want to configure the options now. Uh, there's three things that you want to actually do. So router default gateway. So in this case, it's 172.12, or excuse me, dot 29, not 129, 29.12.81. Dot dot, uh, we're just going to add that, and then yep, that's the parent domain, 80 whiskey time. Uh, server name. This is going to be our DNS server. So we've already got that in there. We only have the one DNS server, mm -hmm. so that's fine. And the server name, the Win server. We don't really worry about that. And the activate scope. You want to activate the scope now. Now, if there were other things that you needed to do with this, like set up reservations or just check and see and make sure that everything was set up properly, then you would want to go ahead and just activate this later. But because just for sake of argument, or not argument, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to set up now. Finish. And there we go. So now we're ready to give out uh, leases to all of our machines. We've got an address pool. This describes uh, basically that we've got 100 to 200. We don't have anything in there that's a reservation or that's excluded. Um, these would be the, where the active leases would show up. And this is an automatic process. So your machines would just automatically send out a DHCP request uh, and then they would get back in the IP address. And then we have the scope options that we set up. So we've got our router. Uh, basically, that's just our gateway. DNS servers, we only have the one, which is the domain controller, this machine. And then we have the DNS domain name, which is ad.whiskeytime.club. So set up all of those for us. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, setting up DHCP. Yeah. So we want to do um, automatic DNS record updates. Uh -huh. So what do we do that? 
Okay. <sighs> We're going to cut on this one because I don't remember if it's no, here. I stumbled around too. Yeah. All right. So what you want to do in order to go ahead and do that is click on the server, properties, and click on DNS. You've got a lot of options here. And uh, we go into depth on, again, another video. Mm -hmm. uh, we go into depth about what this does. But pretty much basically what you want to do is you want to take ownership away of the DNS records from a machine because that's where they belong. And you want to give that to the DHCP server because that's going to update DNS. And by doing that, or by clicking on this always dynamically update DNS records right here, that's what takes care of that. Um, and then discard A and PTR records when lease is deleted. You definitely want to do that. And uh, that's basically it. Yeah, so in other words, um, when a machine uh, gets a new DHCP lease, mm -hmm. the DHCP server is going to just update the DNS server so that yep. everything is in sync, all of your DNS records are stay accurate. Yep, and then when those become stale or when that lease expires, uh, they'll automatically be deleted. So the DHCP server takes care of that for you, which greatly simplifies uh, DHCP and DNS, especially mm -hmm. when you have like multiple machines moving in and out, like wireless and then over to wired and wired to wireless. So yep. that's it. And that's basically all there is to setting up uh, DHCP and making sure that DNS updates properly. Yeah, pretty simple. Yep. So this is Steven. And this is Britt. Thanks for watching.